Hot and sunny a day across the valley. A few clouds out there, but definitely on the hot side. We're already passing the 90 degree mark and highs in the 90s. Some places around 100 today. This might be the hottest day of the week, and tomorrow's not looking much different either. Cold front arrives Thursday, it looks like. It may start off kind of warm in the morning, but at some point, the cold front should start to bring down temperatures. Could bring back the chances for rain, too. And then some cooler, somewhat less humid weather lingers through Friday, Saturday, and maybe Sunday of next weekend coming up. So right now, back around 90 degrees, Rio Grande City, out to lunch. Sometimes it pops on there if I wait a second. Nope, not, not, not popping on. 92 in Brownsville, 92 in Raymondville, and 80s along the coast. So we should be getting close to breaking some record highs this afternoon as temperatures soar into the 90s. Humidity is up too. Dew points mostly in the low 70s. That puts us in the very humid category, which is getting close to the summertime level. So yeah, it doesn't quite feel like the mid-October. still feels like maybe late August, early September out there. And the heat index, when you factor in the humidity, is getting close to 100. This is how hot it feels calculated with the humidity if you're standing in the shade. And the heat index up in the upper 90s in some areas, including that 99 there you see in Brownsville. Highs today back up around 100 from about McAllen westward and not too far behind everywhere else. Near 97 this afternoon in Harlingen, 94 in Brownsville. The only cool spot at South Padre Island, but mostly sunny skies and dry weather continue today. Now your day planner the rest of this afternoon, 95 at 3 p.m., 91 on average at 6 p.m. And then when the sun goes down, temperatures fall through the 80s. Shouldn't get below 70 in most areas tonight. Still another warm night out there when temperatures kind of bottom out in the low 70s by morning. So hot by day, warm and muggy still by night. And the satellite radar doesn't show really too many, too many clouds coming our way. There are a few little puffy clouds around, but nothing is able to build up to cause any rain today. The air overall, when you look at from the ground up, is still fairly dry and stable, so we can't really scrape up any showers today. Future track has sunshine around today and hot temperatures and not much changes between now and the rest of this afternoon. By this evening, sun goes down, moon comes up, sky is still clear to partly cloudy, and then tomorrow, Probably just about as hot as today. Future track tries to hint at maybe a little sprinkle there, or at least a few more clouds. So you might see temperatures sway by a degree or so compared to today. But tomorrow looks like another pretty hot day when it's you know, just about going to be in the mid to upper 90s most everywhere. By the time we get into Wednesday, there's a little bit more moisture trying to increase ahead of a cold front, which is still off the map. So small chance you might see one or two showers around, but most of Wednesday is probably just going to be more partly sunny and temperatures could cool a couple degrees. but nearly every place in the valley still up in the 90s. So we'll show you the cold front on the bigger view of future track later. It's still off the map there, but your first 1570 forecast hot today, hot tomorrow, still pretty hot Wednesday with high temperatures in the 90s or higher everywhere except for at the coast. Thursday, the cold front should be doing here sometime toward the late morning or early afternoon. Temperatures could fall through the 80s with uh, at least some scattered showers or maybe even a thunderstorm around behind the front, though, cooler, less humid weather. I mean, relatively cool. High temperatures should still be in the 80s, but cooler nights in the 60s may even dip down into the upper 50s in some areas on Saturday morning. But the cooler, less humid weather returns Friday, Saturday and Sunday for a nicer weekend coming up next weekend. But stay tuned. We'll track that front in a little more de detail coming up for you in your first 1-5 forecast here on Channel 5 News at noon.